Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tankerman 3000 channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install my favorite Hypixel Skyblock mods including not enough updates, Skyblock add-ons, and dungeon utilities. I've put timestamps in the description for all of those, so if you want to skip to a certain mod, feel free to do so. Also, if you want to learn more about some of these mods, I made a recent video on the best mods for Hypixel Skyblock dungeons, which showcased some of the dungeon focus features of this mod. So, that will be also in the description. Finally, before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, and you can always unsubscribe later. Okay, that's enough intro. Let's get into the mods. I just need to disclose two things before we begin. One, this guide is made for Windows, as the max steps would be very different. So, if you want to guide on that, let me know now in the comments, and I can do my best to make one. Also, all of these mods are used at your own risk on Hypixel, but as far as I can tell, no one's been banned for using any of these mods, so you'll probably be fine. Your first step towards using any of these mods is downloading the Forge client for 1.8.9. First, go to files.minecraftforge.net, or the link down in the description, and press 1.8.9, or use the link in the description as well. From there, all you have to do is click the Windows installer, and then wait 5 seconds and skip Skip Add in the top right. Do not click on any other download link. They will not work. <laughs> They're all advertisements on the AdFocus site that it brings you to, so... Just skip all those. Once you've got the installer downloaded, run the installer and complete the setup. Then, you'll have to go into Minecraft and launch the new Forge client installation it created. Then, you open it for the first time. It should show up with the normal Mojang loading screen with a little red bar underneath, but if it doesn't, that's fine. Just wait for it to open, and as soon as you get to the page where it asks you to select single player, multiplayer, stuff like that, just completely close out of it because you're done for now. Then, you're going to press the Windows key and R, and type in percent apt percent slash dot minecraft, and press OK. Make sure that there's a folder named mods, and if there's not, create it. That's where you're going to end up putting the mods that I show you how to download in this video. So, first up is not enough updates. This one is relatively simple, unlike some of the other ones. <laughs> first off, you're going to go to the NEU GitHub page, which I have linked down below, and click the dot jar file to download the latest release. As of recording that, this is the 1.7 release. Next, press the Windows key and R, and type in percent apt-data percent slash dot minecraft slash mods. Then, drag and drop the dot jar file into your mods folder. Relaunch Forge from the Minecraft launcher, and any you should be installed. If you would like to install the rest of these mods, continue watching the video. Next up is the ever-popular Skyblock add-ons. The creator of this mod is a former Hypixel Skyblock helper, and he has his own website to download the mod which no sketchy ad links. You can find this link down in the description as well, and his only request for installing it is that you subscribe to his YouTube channel. And he's almost at 30,000 subscribers for YouTube rank, so I'm sure he would really be delighted if you subscribe to him, as well as just installing the mod. The mod should appear in your downloads folder after 10 seconds. Next, press the Windows key and R, and type in percent apt data percent slash dot minecraft slash mods. Then, drag and drop the dot jar file into your mods folder. Relaunch Forge from the Minecraft Launcher, and Skyblock add-ons should be installed. If you would like to install Dungeon Utilities as well, continue watching the video. Otherwise, that is the end of the Skyblock add-ons installation process. Okay, it's finally time for Dungeon Utilities, the hardest one to install. Dungeon Utilities is a really difficult mod to install in comparison to the other ones, because it's based on chat triggers. If you already have chat triggers installed, skip ahead a few seconds as this video shows you how to install chat triggers first and then Dungeon Utilities. So, you need both of them for it to work. First, go to chattriggers.com and press download. Then, press stable 1.8.9. This will download a .jar file, which you will also place in your .minecraft slash mods folder, by pressing the Windows key and R, and typing in percent apt-data percent slash .minecraft slash mods. Then, drag and drop the .jar file into your mods folder. Relaunch Forge from the Minecraft launcher, and chat trigger should be installed. Now that you're done installing chat triggers, the only thing left to do is do CT import dungeon utilities in chat, and you're done. You can use the mod now by doing slash dungeons in the future, as it doesn't have a clear GUI to be started with. So, those are the best mods for Hypixel Skyblock in my opinion. If you're interested, I can look at some more modifications in the future on this channel, so let me know if you want to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.